So uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm actually starting to clock on myself here. So uh, my company is called BitVault, and uh, we are in our uh, seed stage investment round. Uh, we're an amplified company down the street at, uh, uh, in Venice. Um, what we're doing is we're creating a very secure cloud storage API service for Bitcoins. Uh, the goal here is to basically in, empower developers to be able to iterate and build quickly in Bitcoin and to be able to build solutions on top of our platform without having to understand the underlying infrastructure of Bitcoin and keeping Bitcoin safe. Uh, so if you've heard about the Gox, Mount Gox uh, experience, um, essentially the problem with Mount Gox is that uh, people are entrusting their coins with a, a third party and your coins are only as safe as that third party is. It, what they're giving you back is a promise to pay. In, in, in Mt. Gox's case, a bunch of people have left their money on the exchange. That, those coins have been long gone for two years, but nobody knew it. And that coin basically just folded, or that company folded its shop, went bankrupt, and now everybody is out, uh, what, 750,000 coins? Uh, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars. So this is a very serious problem in the industry. We are different in that uh, we never actually take possession of your coins. And we do that through the magic of programmable money. So we can actually program into the money itself security rules uh, whereby BitVault never actually takes possession of your coins and yet still gives you bank level security. So if you want to learn more about how the, the fundamentals of that works, I can explain it to you. Uh, I'll be around. My name is Micah. The company is BitVault and I'm happy to answer questions. Is it going to be open source? So the, the service level API uh, currently is not open source, but we are releasing a lot of open source clients. So the stuff that you will actually be interfacing with will all be open source, and we're building client libraries in many different languages. Um, and it's possible that we will open source our actual server code, but we want to make sure that it's rock solid before we do so, for obvious reasons. Yeah. How exactly do you... Uh people to use it? What would be typical usage for someone to use that service? Yeah, so, um, so for instance, talk to a company today who's looking to uh, collect payments for um, political candidates. Uh, essentially, our API is very flexible in that you can build a lot of stuff on top of it. So we are really trying to take care of the core security layer of Bitcoin and not try to dictate what your business model is. So we are very much about the infrastructure of Bitcoin and basically removing those concerns so that you can build on top of it. Yeah? Can you just explain the API use case? In other words, I don't really understand what your API does. Mm -hmm. I know what API for Twitter does. I can check Twitter information. Sure. So at, at the core, what we are is a wallet. Um, we're a very secure wallet. So you can think of it like blockchain.info, but on steroids, uh, where essentially, um, we actually have multiple private keys, and these private keys are split up uh, so that BitVault is basically holding on to one of these private keys, and you're holding on to the other. So the, the simplest way to think about this is like a, a, in a missile silo, if you have, um, you have a, a missile launch, you basically have multiple keys, and you take one key and you turn it in one switch, and then another guy has another key and turns it in another switch, and you need to have both keys turned at the same time to move the rocket. We work the same exact way, except with money instead. So we're basically a, a, a co-signer on every transaction. Um, and that's sort of the core. I can get into the details later if you're really interested in this. Uh, I think I might be out of time. Two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, what was that? Is it possible to leverage your platform to uh, use it as an escrow type of a service? Yeah, that's a good question. Can you use this for escrow? So certainly escrow uh, and multi-signature trans transactions work very well together. Uh, our, our first product is not built for escrow, but that is something that we are thinking about. What's the speed of transactions? The speed of the transactions? Uh, we, are, we have not launched it yet and load tested it yet, so I can't give you an exa exact uh, number. Um, but certainly, we are building this to be as robust as possible. I mean, you know, what we're trying to be is the underlying infrastructure, so that is one of our primary concerns. I can't give you an exact number yet. And thank you.